this is the key. When you're in a, when you're going through it, that person's telling you you're annoying. Give her time. But while you give her time, I'm up next. What? Put that to my set. What? Full time flex. What? Push me to the death. What? Oh, I'm extra. Yeah, my shit costs extra. Made a couple stacks. Spent that on whatever. What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to another day with the Rich Way, man. If y'all new to the channel, my name's Rich, aka Young Rich Way, man. And yo, when I hear y'all gotta hear back. Yeah! Love is crazy, relationships is crazy, girls are crazy. Today's a different video. If you guys subscribe to me, you guys usually know Rich Way looking for love, or you see me going across the world to see a crush, or you see me getting back with an ex, or you see me even making songs about an ex. Main thing that's been going on this year in my life is love. Love, love, love. Rich Way looking for love. I'm Rich Way, like I said, young Rich Way, aka Rich Way. This summer been full of like heartbreaks and just emotions mixed emotions one day i feel happy and the next i feel sad the next i feel like i finally found someone the next i miss my ex it inspired me to do this video before i even continue this video this is all genuine this is all real because i am not looking on my phone i don't have nothing written down i don't have a letter i want to talk about this is as genuine this is the most genuine video i have if you guys are new to the channel welcome to the rich way family the rich way gang the littest channel on youtube make sure you guys give it a huge Huge thumbs up. I was going through a breakup. Like I said, I was going through mixed emotions, all of that stuff. And it was like, obviously I'm a YouTuber. I checked how to get over a breakup. You know what I'm saying? Just to see like other people's vibes, just to see if somebody out there with a platform can help me. You know what I'm saying? Cause I was in a darker time. I yo, let me see other influencers. Let me see if they have to have one. There wasn't much, there wasn't much. And the videos that I did find, it was like of girls telling about like basically why she hates guys forever. And it's like, I ain't trying to hear that. I was looking for a video to get me through what I was going through. So there was nothing. I love to do videos that's not really out there, but will help millions of people. Millions of people because if I was feeling that way, I know for sure there's millions of people feeling that way. You know what I'm saying? So that's why, man, before we get this video started, give it a huge thumbs up. I want at least like 5,000, 6,000 thumbs up. Comment down below if you were in a situation because I want to talk to you guys. I want to talk to you guys in the comment section. And if it's not in the comment section, it's on my Instagram right there. We're going to jump right into it. The most genuine, off the head video I ever did right now, how to get over a breakup. We're starting it right now. As you guys continue to know who I am and continue to find my journey, follow my journey of love, of rich way in general, of just all that other craziness, I started the channel as a couple channels. It was like a three year relationship, broke up. It was so bad to a point I didn't know what to do, you feel me? Like I literally wrote a song about it, it's called Dear X. I just dropped it like a week ago, not even, it's already going crazy. The link is down below, the uh, cover art is right here. It's called Dear X. It's literally available everywhere. SoundCloud, Spotify, Apple Music. Just type in Young Rich Way Dear X. Because I was tired of people asking me what happened. What happened to your ex? What happened to your ex? What happened to your ex? And it was like, you know what? I'm going to just write a song. I never believed in write a song when you're not feeling like the vibe. Or write a song when you're going through it. I never. I was like. Boy, get, the, get out of here. Boy. It's my best song I ever dropped. It's my favorite song I ever dropped. And it's so relatable. It solves all the questions that were asked. Like literally. It brought up family. It brought up, you know, just thoughts I had in my head it brought up just everything you feel me like that like that's what I mean when I said I can't do this I can't get caught up in this foolish shit that's what I mean when I said I can't do this I can't get caught up in this foolish shit that's what I mean when I said I'm gonna hit it but I ain't gonna ever pursue this shit that's what I mean when I said you can't take me so baby just cut all that stupid shit that's what I mean when I said it I said it so now you gonna see me go through with it like real shit I I, t I shouldn't have done it, you feel me? I shouldn't have went through it, you know? We was all good till your fam was involved. We was all good till they broke us apart. It sound funny now because there's nothing on, but it was basically like, when I said I am a bad boy, I am no good, I was meaning like, when, I, when you're in a relationship, usually the parents or anybody, your friends, anybody, is always like, why are you going out with him? He's no good. He's a bad boy. He's not this. He's not that. He's too hood. He's too... All of this, all of this other shit, you know what I'm saying? Putting words in her head, in her mind, and then she's reflecting it and changed her mind about me. You know what I'm saying? I'll have the clip at the end of the video if you guys want to check it out. You can judge and see if you want to download it, look it up on SoundCloud, all of that. It's not about just my relationship. This is about how to get over breakups, so I'm going to just make it simple just to let you guys know that I've been in a real relationship to feel how I'm feeling and help how I can help. Well, she blocked her number. She cut off her phone line. She literally 
changed her Instagram. She went ghost. She went ghost. No one could contact her. I wasn't over it so much that it went to a point where I was even trying to email, trying to email to, you know, argue through email, try to reach out through email, try to reach out through stupid apps. You know what I'm saying? I'm And I'm sitting back and I'm like, why am I doing this? Like, what the f is going on? It just went bad like that. It started bad like that, man. And I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to do. I started posting snap. I started posting Instagram stories of me and her together. Meanwhile, she wasn't even following me, hoping she would see. Song says everything. If you want to know more about my relationship, if you're about to text that person after this video, stop. Don't do it. If you're about, if you're a YouTuber, don't make no videos. If you have an Instagram, don't post her on your Instagram. Don't post him on your Instagram. Don't make subs. Just stop. That's one way to get over a breakup. And I know it's like, it's harder than you think. Of course it's harder than you think, cause I've been through it. But I started seeing better when I stopped. When I kept going and I kept posting these things, I kept texting a million times and not getting no response. It's annoying. It becomes, I miss him to, yo, you're annoying. Leave me alone. And I know while watching this, a lot of y'all getting that message right now, like, yo, leave me alone. It's annoying. It's annoying. I want to let y'all know myself. It's annoying. Trust me. I wish it wasn't annoying, but I'm trying to help y'all get through a relationship because I wish somebody helped me get through a relationship. There was people who did help me get through a relationship. I didn't finish, but like outsiders, there was nobody I can watch or nobody can do this. You know what I'm saying? So one, don't text that girl back. Don't, don't text that guy back. Don't text him even if he's not responding. Just let it be for a little, give it time, give it, give it a break. Everybody sometimes needs time, you know? It's annoying, I know like everybody says that, but it's true. Like I was reading a quote and it's just basically like, if you guys find your way after all of the mess, then it really means that that was, that's what it's supposed to be. That's what's meant to, that's what is meant to be. That's what meant to be. So it's like, let it rock. If she never hits you up after, it ain't meant to be, you feel me? If she does, if you guys talk after, Y'all really maybe soulmates or y'all really might have another chance. You know what I'm saying? But stop with the texting. Stop. Stop reaching out. You're going to become annoying instead of the person that she misses. Simple. Just like that. The thing I would want to talk about to you guys is basically do better. Do better. And I don't mean that in like get a cuter boyfriend or get a badder girl. No. No. It's not. It, that's thinking immature. That's another thing. Don't think immature like I might have to get a dude who looks better than him to let him know like no nah, don't do that when i mean do better i mean simply just like do better take your mind off it you know find a hobby get a job so and it sounds stupid like oh you sound like my dad but it's true like my dad was the only person to help me what not the only but my family I mean, hang out with people that will take your mind off that that doesn't mean go out and try to find something new or try to hop on a new guy you know what i'm saying the more hours you work the less your mind has time to think of your ex you know what i'm saying or think of a person that's causing all that heartbreak to go on you know you stay busy stay busy that's a key thing stay busy so another big thing is you have to be around good vibes if you're not living with your family because i wasn't living with my family at the time go home go home hang out with your family chill with your family spend some time you feel me get all good vibes you want good vibes around you no fake vibes talk to your family don't hide your emotions it's one thing if your family doesn't support you but if you have a supporting family don't hold, don't hold it in. Don't hold it in. I'm just giving you guys things that you can try. My camera's actually about to die, so I'm gonna try to wrap this video up. This is the key. When you're in a, when you're going through it, that person's telling you you're annoying. Give her time. But while you give her time, do you, do you? Because that person is now telling you. I know I said don't rush into people, but do you? You feel me? That person that y'all loved each other or te is telling you, do you? So do you don't sit there and be like, nah, I'm not going to do me just in case we don't get back. I used to think like that. I didn't literally want to talk to nobody because I was like, nah, just in case I get back with my girl, like I'm like my ex, I, I don't want, you know, to deal with nothing. No, it doesn't get you nowhere. Do you go out, have fun. I meant don't, ju don't just jump into a relationship, but do you. And I promise you when your ex, when the person you're not talking to no more sees you doing you, that don't mean you got to do things with that person. Go on dates. You feel me? Go out with a friend. When your ex sees you with that other person of the other gender, it's going to be like, damn. So this is how he is. This is how he's living. And it's not fake it to make it, but it's like, you don't want to be on the couch sad, crying every day. She's not going to want your ass back. I'm sorry. I'm being real. She's not going to want your ass back. So if you want to get your ex back, or if you want to just be happy in general, the key to it in my... 
I don't know everything, but I'm staying off what I do know, what helped me. Right now, if you're watching this, you already spent too much time crying on the couch, crying in the bathroom. Go out, meet a friend, post here and there, not just for your ex to be spiteful, but just show your life. Show that you're gonna be good regardless. That's how, it, that's how I wanna end it. Show that you're gonna be good regardless. And I promise you, everything that you wanted before is gonna come back to you. They're gonna wanna come back to you, and if they don't, you're gonna gain someone while going through the breakup, if that makes sense. That's the key, I wanna leave it off just like that. Just like that, go out, get it. If you're going through a breakup, stay strong. Don't hit that person up. Go out there and get it. Find a hobby, all of that stuff I was talking about. And I wanted to make this video for you guys. If this video benefited you anyway, drop a like, drop a comment, and more importantly, match that subscribe button. My camera actually just died on me, so like I said, before this video ends, follow my Instagram right here, Young Richway, and I swear I will have conversations with you guys. It could be the deepest conversation. If I don't answer, make sure you spam the account somehow, get my attention. I'm talking to everybody. I'm talking to everybody. I went through a dark time, so I'm so grateful that I got to let you guys know some tips, man. Make sure you guys give it a huge thumbs up. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Join the way, the only way, the rich way to live this YouTube channel on YouTube, man. Peace. She said she love me, she can't. I blame myself for attacks. I blame myself for relaxing. I should have left her with passion. I, I, I couldn't sleep. I 